Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a very special and very requested video. I'm so happy to be uploading it. In today's video, I will, sh I will be showing you guys what all the steps are for making my videos. So I'll be showing you how I plan, film, and edit my YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I do is plan my videos. I will start with coming up with an idea, which I will usually come up with by getting inspired. And I already have a list with a lot of videos, so I can just look at that. To plan my videos, I use a bullet journal because this works the best for me. I use my bullet journal to record monthly analytics so I can see how the channel is growing. I also have monthly goals and a milestone page. I also record when I upload my videos so I can see when I tend to upload. I record all the videos you guys have requested on one page and have the other pages for just video ideas. I cannot show you guys the video ideas page since most of the videos have not been filmed yet. So here are some planned videos that have been already uploaded so I can show you guys that. When I'm planning a tutorial video, I will have the materials as well as the steps in the plan. And if I'm doing like a care video, I will have bullet points. And my last video I've planned is this video, so I can show you guys what I wrote down. While writing down my ideas, I will film and say in the video, I also like to get inspired by other videos. So I can see that I'm not doing the same, or if that video has a good point, I will write it down. At the end of the page, I also like to write down some notes I will say in the video, so I don't forget it. So this is the equipment I use to film my videos. I use the newer studio light I got off Amazon for 47 euros for a pack of two studio lights, but I tend to only use one. I will also have a link to all the equipment in the description bar. So my camera is the Canon EOS Rebel T6i and I bought the video creator kit which comes with a microphone and a 32 gigabyte SIM card. The lens of my camera is the Canon zoom lens 18 55 millimeters. I believe that I got the entire set for $600 on Black Friday. I will have the link to the camera set in the description bar. The tripod I use is the Amazon Basics tripod which I got off Amazon for 20 euros. So now onto the filming part. So after I plan my videos, I will start filming and I will first set up the studio light and then insert the SIM card into my camera and place it on the tripod. After I will look at my planner and see all the shots I will need to film. Sometimes I will do a shot from above so that you can see the view from the top. I will also do a shot um, outside the cage or have my tripod inside the cage. My guinea pigs are so used to the camera that they aren't scared of it anymore. If I want to do a close shot, I will have my camera as close as the ground as possible. So I edit my YouTube videos on a MacBook Pro and I use Final Cut Pro X to edit on. By the way, if you guys own Final Cut Pro and are willing to trade plugins, please tell me. First of all, I will convert the footage to my MacBook, so I will use a SIM card adapter. Then I will import the footage, footage and select all the videos I'm going to use. Once I have my footage, I will start by trimming the videos and deleting everything I won't need. This can take a long time depending how long the footage is. To cut the footage, I use shortcut command B, and this is such a lifesaver because it makes editing so much faster. If I will use my phone or the footage is shaky, I will select it and press stabilize. After I'm done trimming, I will move on to making the title of the video, and for that I just select the title I'm going to use and change the font and color to my preference. Yeah. 
To make the title more interesting, I added a PNG of the YouTube logo and, and Final Pro logo. To make the logos move in and out and twist, I selected the image and clicked the X and then moved the image to where I wanted it to be. I also wanted the image to twist, so I did that. It is quite hard to explain, but you guys can see what I'm doing. Now that I was done with the main title, I moved on to the title of the clips. For that, I just inserted another title plugin and changed the font. For this title, I used the font DK Yellow Sun. To make the video more interesting, I also added some transitions in between some clips. Now I will record my voiceovers. First of all, I will look at my planner and see what I need to mention. Then I will write down everything I'm going to say and then I will finally start recording my voiceovers. To record my voiceovers, I will usually use the Apple headphones since I find that it works very well. If I made some mistakes while speaking, I will edit the voiceover and trim some bits I didn't want to say. After I made my voiceovers, I add some background music. I find my music on YouTube audio library because it is so much easier to download and you cannot get copyrighted. If you want, you can also find a non-copyrighted song on YouTube, but I just find that more complicated, but sometimes I still do that. At the end of my videos, I also like to add a subscribe button and a like YouTube green screen. So I will search the green, sc green screen on YouTube and then download it using a converter. Then I will insert the video where I want it to be and add a queuing so that the background is not green. Also, if you're going to use a green screen or a song off YouTube, you almost you always must look at the description bar if the user wants you to add some information of the song or green screen, because otherwise you could get copyrighted. Now that I'm done with the video, I will export the video to my desktop and then make a thumbnail and upload the video. So these are all the steps I do to create my videos. Like you can see, it takes a lot of time and effort to create my videos. So I would be very happy if you guys would like to subscribe to my ch YouTube channel and like this video. If you guys have any other questions, please make sure to ask them in the comment bar. And thank you guys for watching and see you in my next week's video. Bye!